What is up YouTube, welcome back to Bike Club Japan. So tonight I'm getting a start on cleaning down the frame, cleaning up the wiring, checking for any more faults that I may find with the Triumph. Uh, it's in the middle of an absolutely torrential rainstorm. We've had rain non-stop for three days. And when I say rain, I'm talking like biblical amounts of rain. So the good thing for me is everybody's got their windows closed and everyone's probably asleep by now. So I'm not gonna make a nuisance and uh, wake people up with all the noise I'm gonna make. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, give the bike a thorough de-grease and clean and polish and whatnot. So let's have a quick look around the bike before I start. All right, so this is the state I've got the bike into. Basically just got all the panels stripped off, all the fairings stripped off. Um, I've got a cover a hole in the airbox there because we don't want water going in there. Uh, the fuel return hoses and the actual main fuel hose, this one. Better tape those up to so I'll make sure no water gets into those. And then we've got a few like dirty wiring things over here that need to be tidied up a bit. Um, now the surprise that I had was I found this. I don't know if you can see that in the, the shadow there, but it's a rapid bike racing ECU. Like one of those aftermarket tunable, mappable ECUs for the bike. So I found that on there and then obviously that's what all this extra wiring is. And like this, it's upside down but it says O2, the O2 sensor. I thought that didn't look very factory, but that is, uh, that is why. So tonight what we're gonna do is um, give literally everything a clean up and a degrease first. So I'm gonna go over it with a toothbrush, like all these, you know, like everything literally. I'm just gonna go over it with a toothbrush and a bunch of WD-40 and uh, some actual power wash. Uh, get rid of all these like sticky pads that have been put on there. Oh, that come off pretty easily, but um, things like that. So I'll make sure I don't lose all the rubber bits, clean up with all these nooks and crannies, everywhere you can think of, clean up all the bugs off the forks. Um, just maybe spray a bit of silicone on all the wiring harness to make it look a bit nicer. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, I'm gonna do it in a kind of like a two-stage attack. So tonight I'll just degrease everything, including the wheel and the rear sprocket as well, and clean up the chain, everything like that. And because it is rainy and I don't have a compressor at home, I'm just gonna have to let it leave it to dry naturally. So I'll leave it to dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll go over it with like a brass uh, brush. Um, if there's any like bits of uh, like oxidization on the alley parts, I'll try and brush those off and give it a real good clean. And then tonight, once I've finished all the degrease, I'm gonna wash it off with um, my soap bubble gun. Bubble gun, not bubble gum. So one of these things. Now I've got a bunch of towels and uh, some essentials to do the job. So anyway, enough talking. I've got a lot of shit to do. I'm already covered in sweat from this humidity, but uh, let's get on with it. Right, so, so far tonight, this is all the stuff that I've used. So, for those of you who can't read, that is, well, it's in English actually, parts cleaner, WD-40, wheel cleaner, uh, just general car shampoo, car wash stuff and these brushes. Um, now the chain brush, I used it um, just with WD for now. And it's, it's improved, I would say, but it's still not, not um, as clean as I want it to be. So I'll wait till that's dry tomorrow and then go over it again. Um, wheel itself and the air brake caliper has come out really nice. So that, that's good. There's a lot of water trapped inside that wheel. Um, Coming around to this side, the engine itself as well, it's come out quite nicely. The down here is a little bit dirty still, but again, when it's dry, I'll go over that with some um, parts cleaner and my bronze brush. So the front end, very shiny as you can see. Calipers are lovely, brake discs have come out nice. The forks again, very nice and clean. Taped up the duct so the air doesn't go into the air filter. Um, but yeah, basically for the first wash of many, I'm happy. So I'm just gonna do my best to dry it with towels now. And then I'm gonna to go to bed because it's midnight. So we will continue this tomorrow. See you in the morning. 
Good morning YouTube. So welcome back to day two of the project. So as you can see, it is still bloody raining and it looks like it's going to be raining until the end of the month. So no one can ride and everyone's getting depressed. So it sucks. But anyway, so what I've done today is I've removed, if you remember, there was a, kind of a lot of messy wiring down there. Um, I've removed basically the uh, rapid bike ECU. So I've put all the factory plugs back on so all the injectors were tapped into, the throttle position was tapped into, gear position and uh, O2 was all tapped into with uh, this adapter harness. But again, I wasn't happy with how the previous owner had done it. Like the wiring is pretty shitty and it's just like got masking tape on it and stuff like that. So um, for now, I'm going to actually just run the bike like this and see if it's any different or not. Um, because I did a bit of research and this quick shifter isn't the one that's, uh, you know, supplied by that rapid bike company. And it looks like it's an extra like 250 euros to get the quick shifter add-on. So I think um, I'm just going to ride it for now with the stock ECU and just see how it feels and see if it feels less powerful or see if it runs crappy because of this exhaust. We will see. But um, yeah, basically as far as cleaning goes, I'm pretty much happy with the bike now. Um, but she is looking a bit a bit naked, I think we should put the fairings on. All right, so this is how she looks today. So as you can see, the tank is now painted in a beautiful red color that matches the fairings quite well. Cleaned up all the fairings and all the stickers have gone. Um, I bought some nice new black adjustable levers for it, but they don't fit because this master cylinder is niching, niching and the uh, ones I bought were actually for Brembo, so I kind of screwed up there. I fitted the clutch side, but now they're mismatched, so I'm probably just going to put the red ones back on temporarily. As you can see as well, I've also fitted clip-ons, new clip-ons and new grips. Um, what else have I done? Basically cleaned it up a lot and got rid of all the nasty stickers, made sure all the, all the components were nice and clean and stuff like that. And yeah, I made one more mistake, which is I bought a standard number plate holder and I got these tiny little indicators, which are M6, which is the same as the original bracket is. So I fitted them up, um, I tucked all the wiring through, then cut the connectors and put the, the original ones back on. But now I can't remove those because I did the wiring through through a, a tiny hole in the back, so I have to use this. However, when I looked at the bike last night to try and fit it, there's no mounting brackets because this one only fits onto the original exhaust. So I majorly screwed up there. So I have ordered a factory exhaust, which was cheap as chips, 3,000 yen for a stock standard exhaust, which I'll put on and uh, then it will be able to pass inspection. Now that's all good and well. I know you guys probably thought I'd die because I haven't made a video for ages, but I've decided I'm not keeping it. So as much as I like this old girl, and I've spent quite a bit of time and money on it, I'm basically just gonna try and sell it for a bit of a profit now and get myself something else, which is probably gonna be an Aprilia RSV Melee because there's not many bikes in my budget that I like. So yeah. Um, as soon as that stock exhaust comes, be able to fit that number plate holder, then I'm just going to take some nice photos of it and stick it up for sale on Yahoo Auctions. So anyway guys, I'll keep you posted. Goodbye. <laughs> 